Hello everyone, welcome to 5 Minutes with the Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional. I guarantee you that as you take this journey with me of reading the Rhapsody every day, your life will be blessed and truly transformed. The Word of God contained in this book has so blessed my life and I thought that I share this daily with you to bless your life as well. Praise the Lord. I want to use this opportunity to thank the author of this book and my pastor, Pastor Chris Oyakumeme. Thank you, sir, for giving us the Rhapsody of Realities, which has blessed lives and continue to bless the lives of men all around the world on a daily basis. So let's get right to it. Today is Friday, the 24th of May, and Pastor Chris teaches the sanctifying power of his word. The theme scripture is taken from John chapter 15 from verse 2 to 3 and it reads, Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. And let's get right into the devotion of the day as I just read the theme scripture. The first paragraph reads, There is no better way to purify God's people than sharing the word with them. Just share the word of God. A pastor, for instance, could be concerned that some people in the church might not be living right. What he needs to do is to keep speaking and teaching the word. And the people will be cleansed. Notice that Jesus said, You are clean through the word that I have spoken unto you. As they hear the word, it will purge their spirits and cleanse them. The word has that sanctifying power. I take that again. The word has that sanctifying power. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 25 to 26 and it reads, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loves the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Pastor continues, The word of God washes. That's why when people come to church and listen to the word, they feel like they are in the best place ever. As they listen to the word of God, it purified them. That's what the word of God does to your spirit. That's why when the true word of God is taught in a local assembly, people will always come to hear that message that purifies, empowers, and inspires them. It even propels them to become soul winners. For the word makes them fishers of men, as he did the disciples in Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. Now we're going to take the further studies together. And we're going to be reading the following scriptures. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to be reading the following scriptures in the New International Version. We're going to be reading Psalms, the book of Psalms 119. Psalms 119, verse 9 reads. How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. The next scripture is 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, and it reads, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Now, the final scripture is the book of John chapter 15, verse 3 and it reads you are already clean because of the word i have spoken to you glory to god i hope you've been blessed by the reading for today now let's take the prayer as containing the rhapsody of realities for today why don't you just lift up your hand and mean these words as you say it after me dear father thank you for the purifying power of your word it cleanses me renews my mind transforms my life and reprograms my thoughts in the direction of your perfect will for my life my mind 
is reconditioned for supernatural growth, prosperity, and divine health. In Jesus' name, amen. I invite you to read the Rhapsody of Realities daily with me. You can visit the Rhapsody of Realities website to get your copy of Rhapsody of Realities every day or join me every day on this channel as we read the Rhapsody of Realities together and trust me, you'll be blessed as you do so. God bless you. See you next time.